The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is the most important global observatory for studying astronomy. Its chief objective is to probe the enigmas surrounding both our own planetary system and distant exoplanets orbiting far-off stars, as well as to examine the intricate structures that constitute our cosmos and our position within it. Scientists recently directed the JWST toward a star 120 light-years from our solar system in a groundbreaking endeavor. In doing so, the formidable telescope has uncovered 0 der 0 34, compelling evidence suggesting the presence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of a potential ocean world far beyond Earth, which has left the astronomical community astounded. But how is this extraordinary discovery feasible? This revelation offers an intriguing glimpse into a planet that stands in stark contrast to any found within our solar system, while also raising thought-provoking questions about the potential for habitable worlds elsewhere in the vast expanse of space. Join us as we delve deeper into this 0-0104 discovery of an exoplanet and the fascinating information it contains. If you're eager to stay informed about the latest revelations concerning the universe and beyond, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, share it with others, and activate the notification bell to stay up to date. The exoplanet K218b, which is 8.6 times larger than Earth, has been the subject of a significant discovery by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. What makes this image so exceptional? This thrilling 00.0136. Finding includes the identification of carbon compounds such as methane and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. The discovery made by the telescope lends credence to earlier studies that suggested the conditions at K218b might be suitable for life. It appears to possess a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a surface enveloped by oceans. The initial analysis of this exoplanet's atmospheric properties situated within the habitable zone was conducted using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, which dramatically enhanced our understanding of the Rho 2 do 7 system. It's crucial to note that K218b resides 120 light-years from Earth, located within the constellation Leo, and orbits a cool dwarf star known as K218. The system's habitable zone includes this star. Exoplanets like K218b, which fall between the sizes of Earth and Neptune, are a rare category in our solar system due to the absence of similar planets in our immediate vicinity. Astronomers are intrigued by the possibility that K218b has a hydrogen-dominated atmosphere and significant carbon content. O2.45 A lot of experts think that these kinds of planets might be ideal places to look for signs of life. The presence of methane and carbon dioxide, along with the absence of ammonia, strengthens the hypothesis that this exoplanet might contain an ocean beneath the hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Early research has also suggested that dimethyl sulfide, a chemical compound produced by life on Earth, might be detected in K218b's atmosphere. On Earth, most dimethyl sulfide is generated by marine plankton, but the evidence for this or 0 l 18 compound on K218b remains weak and requires additional confirmation. If dimethyl sulfide is indeed present in K218b's atmosphere in significant quantities, further observations made with the JWST telescope network should help. One astronomer from the University of Cambridge clarified that, while K218b lies within the habitable zone and contains carbon compounds, it does not automatically imply that life can exist there. The planet's radius, which is 2.6 times that of Earth, suggests that its core might be surrounded by a 0.03.52 thick, high-pressure mantle of ice, similar to Neptune's. Additionally, it has a thinner, hydrogen-rich atmosphere, and its surface is ocean-covered. Although liquid water oceans are anticipated on this exoplanet, there remains the possibility that these oceans may be too rigid or inadequate to support life. 
However, researchers have succeeded in obtaining the most detailed spectrum of a habitable sub-Neptune planet to date, enabling them to identify the molecules present in its atmosphere. A member of the Cardiff University team, O425, explained that this challenge was met by analyzing light from K218b's host star as it passed through the planet's atmosphere. K218b is classified as a transiting exoplanet, meaning its brightness diminishes when it crosses in front of its host star. This is how NASA's K2 mission first identified this exoplanet. Before reaching space telescopes like JWST, a portion of the star's light shines through the atmosphere of an exoplanet during these transits. As sunlight filters through an exoplanet's atmosphere, it leaves behind signals Rho 456 that astronomers can use to determine the presence of gases. The research team intends to conduct additional investigations using JWST's mid-infrared spectrometer to confirm their findings and gather further data on K218b's climatic conditions. The team's ultimate goal is to search for signs of life on habitable exoplanets, a breakthrough that could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Furthermore, the JWST has made other extraordinary discoveries. Astronomers using the telescope have detected 0005.32 complex organic molecules akin to smog or smoke in a distant galaxy. This discovery marks the earliest known detection of such molecules in the universe. Personally, I find this both awe-inspiring and unsettling, as these findings in the farthest reaches of the cosmos are reshaping the very foundations of our cosmology. The importance of this discovery lies in the fact that these molecules, known as aromatic hydrocarbons, were found in a galaxy that formed when the universe was only about 10% of its current age. These 00-506.03 carbon-based molecules, which are found in petroleum and coal deposits on Earth, as well as in atmospheric pollution like smog, are large and complex, composed of dozens or even hundreds of atoms. What makes this discovery so remarkable is that such large and complex molecules were formed so quickly after the Big Bang, defying expectations based on our existing cosmological models. To put this in perspective, the light detected from this early galaxy started its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, whereas the universe A0-0635 is about 13.8 billion years old today. This indicates that we are witnessing some of the initial stages of the evolution of the universe. What is most impressive is that the detection of these complex organic molecules was made possible by the Webb telescope, which will continue to allow us to make similar observations for nearly a billion more years. Would we be able to find even more of these molecules if we could observe further back in time, perhaps closer to the Big Bang itself? This raises significant concerns regarding our science and Dirobaint S7.06 understanding of cosmology. Until now, previous attempts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only confirm their presence, but with Webb's higher resolution, we can now examine the fine details of where these molecules are located. Also, no one knows why these molecules were distributed differently in the early galaxy SP4 O 1847. What's truly impressive is that this galaxy was already as massive as our own, with stars that had generated as much carbon and oxygen as those in the 0.07 to 38 Milky Way, despite being only one-tenth the age of our galaxy. As humanity ventures deeper into the unknown, armed with knowledge and insight, we are humbled by the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. With every scientific breakthrough, we move closer to unveiling the enigmas concealed within the stars. It is only a matter of time before the cosmos reveals even more of its hidden truths and shines ever brighter as our global space exploration network progresses. Please share your 00208. 10 reflections in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed this video.
As our comprehension of the universe advances, the James Webb Space Telescope consistently delivers transformative insights. Its observations are reshaping how we view exoplanets and celestial formations, extending the limits of what we previously thought possible in astrophysics. We can now see further into the universe than ever before, thanks to this extraordinary observatory, UHA840. Deciphering mysteries that scientists have long pondered. One example of how JWST is redefining our understanding of the universe's early history and ongoing development is the discovery of complex organic compounds in distant galaxies. One of the most captivating elements of these findings is the potential that life, or at least its foundational components, might be present in regions once considered inhospitable. Chemicals containing carbon have been found in the atmospheres of distant planets like K2-18b or 9 and 11 opening up new avenues for looking into the possibility of biosignature signatures on planets that are similar to Earth in some way. Compounds, such as methane and carbon dioxide, commonly linked with biological processes here on Earth, are noteworthy. However, just because they are there on distant worlds, does not mean that life exists. Instead, they push for more research into the environments that might support life in other parts of the universe. NASA's future strategies for exoplanet studies are focused on this very potential. The Brozo 9 to 44, ability of the Webb telescope to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets with such unprecedented precision represents a significant advancement. Scientists can use it to find not only fundamental elements, but also intricate molecules that might indicate biological activity. This level of accuracy is vital for evaluating the possible habitability of distant planets. As our expertise deepens, so does our potential to spot subtle indicators of life, whether they be atmospheric gases, organic substances, or other biomarkers that may imply the 00.10.18 presence of living organisms. Beyond its achievements in exoplanet research, the JWST is also delivering invaluable data about galaxy formation and transformation. By observing faraway galaxies, astronomers can map the chronology of star creation, track the distribution of elements, and uncover the mechanisms that shape galaxy growth. These investigations are essential for deciphering the origin of our own Milky Way galaxy and understanding its progression over cosmic time. The discovery of aromatic hydrocarbons in A00.1051 galaxy that formed so early in the universe's existence adds another crucial piece to this cosmic puzzle. It suggests that the chemistry necessary for life may have emerged far earlier than previously assumed. This implies that the basic materials for life could have been widespread throughout much of the universe's timeline, increasing the chances that life could exist or could have existed elsewhere. As we continue to push the frontiers of exploration, with the James Webb Space Telescope and other state-of-the-art instruments, we AA-1121 find ourselves in a new epoch of discovery. This new era is defined by our enhanced ability to examine the universe with greater precision and depth than ever before, empowering us to pose and begin to resolve some of the most profound questions regarding our existence and role in the cosmos. So, what are your thoughts on the recent revelations made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope? Do you think we're nearing a historic moment of discovering life beyond Earth, or are we merely uncovering the elemental pieces that B01152 one day lead us to that extraordinary finding? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and remember,